Bye, guys. Hey, I wanted to do a quick scope, just super quick, on this amazing tip that I think all you girls should be doing. It'll really help keep you on track as a woman, as a mom. Thanks for inviting followers. If you're new to me, my name is Jenny Penton with PlannerPerfect.com. Um, I'm a homeschooling mom of eight and I love to empower women to plan beyond their to-do list and to identify who they are outside the roles that they play. So welcome. I'm glad you guys are all here. Yay. Hey, hi. Hi, everybody. Um, you know, what I love, if you are new to me, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I love to do is wake up early and get my top three things done. Okay. That's nothing new. Um, but if you're new to me, that is what I love to do. I love to get it up and get it banged out because in the morning, that's the only time truly that you can, um, control your day. That is going to create the momentum you need and everything else to get it done. Now, if I sit there, for example, if I sit there and I just kind of wake up with my kids or I don't start until I feel like it in the morning, then that whole momentum means I'm in the rears, right? I'm always going to be trying to catch up with their needs. Certainly, my needs won't be met. Uh, my emotional health is going to go down the tubes. I'm going to be grouchy, and it's going to be really hard to try to keep that um, attitude flow of being um, on top of things and keeping happy while raising children, right? All that kind of stuff. So I wake up early. I get my top three done. I go to bed with a clean house. I wake up. I get my top three are usually always the same, but they can change. That's the beauty of it. I wake up. I don't sit down and drink coffee and do journaling anymore or my Bible time or anything like that. I don't. You know why? Because I sit down too long. So I just get up. I drink some water. I start my laundry. I, um, I take my probiotics. I take my dishes out and I shower. Those are my three first top priority things to do. Why? Do I choose those because then the dishwasher is empty and people can throw stuff in. Proactive is better than reactive, absolutely. My laundry is going, I'm already started, I'm set, okay, got that going. I'm showered, I'm ready. I feel so much better when I'm showered. So that's good. Now I can tackle anything else. Now, here's the tip that I want you girls to do. Now, if you know me, you know that I love to script out my days according to how the layout of my life is. I'm going to go ahead and flip you around because I'm going to show you some stuff. <clears throat> now here's, I'm a traveler's notebook lady. Okay. I love traveler's notebook. Hello. Okay. J cat. Are you Janice? Please God. I hope I'm right. <laughs> um, okay. Now this is how I use. Yay. I got it right. Um, each journal book represents a month of planning and I use, Hey, okay, Shanna, I'm going to run over how I use this. Thanks for inviting followers. Um, I have a new website launch coming up with these same books that will have calendars in them and my art printed on the covers. Um, my own threading on for the binding. This is a wide, I'm working out of wide, but I've worked out of narrow and I've loved it too. So here. Before I get into my tip that I think we should do, I'll do, because it's been working for me like crazy. And if I've got eight kids and it's working for me with my personal goals, it'll work for you. Each journal book represents a month of planning, which is amazingly fun. It's a keepsake. It's delicious. It's, it's inspiring. And it's fun to work in. Here's my February. I've got my March plan book, my April plan book. Uh, my May plan book and this is my long-term goals it's perfect oh yay I'm glad you're here um, so this is my long-term goals I keep this in here it's categorized by what my new goals are and washi keeps it separated so each time this is my mission statement okay hello Every time there's washi, that means it's a new goal. So I have Christmas goals already for next year. So um, I, what I do is I look over what I could change the year prior, and I'm immediately ready to, to make the changes I feel would be make our Christmas even better the next year, from the dinner to decor to whatever, spiritually, 
the you know the menu I've got it all out then I've got new goals so I don't want to get too hung up on this because this isn't what the topics about but each washi represents a new goal for me which is fantastic then what I'll do is I'll pull from it and put it over here into these books so the planner perfect method is simple but it's really a life changer um, after this dashboard what the method is that you've got your one calendar that represents that month and you've got your goals this is what's really unique and great about it is that you've got this month specific goals in here so you're gonna work in here and this is where you can put war this is gonna be I mean brain dump station for everything for that month so not only are you gonna be able to put wardrobe in here but birthday parties you've got going in detail and this is where you write everything in details so you've got birthday parties in detail you've got personal goals in detail you've got weight loss you've got here's my February which is even more um, within my goals I've got homeschooling goals and I had Valentine's Day goals so any kind of holiday hey Ellie um, activities um, this is where it goes you write it in detail because that's your statement of intention and you're mapping out your life. So this is where all of that goes. So um, if you want a place to be able to put stuff like this, I mean, honestly, this is this is the place to put it. Everyone's got all this kind of stuff that's sitting in their heads. They need a place to put it or they've used it on a napkin or they put it on... Um, they're putting it on you know another notebook or a scratch pad you don't that's not going to be good enough this is the perfect place to be keeping these kind of things so i keep my business goals here my health goals stuff like that which has really worked divinely so then every page represents a day of planning so this here represents my full day of planning so you know what my tip is you know post-it notes I, I post-it notes can definitely work but you don't want to use them for these for that kind of planning at all for all of those goals and all those details because when you set goals you need its details same with your life when you're mapping out your life it's a statement of intent of intent and you need a map a road map to get there and this is the only way to truly do it and that's why I firmly believe in living beyond your to-dos because um, you're more than your to-dos You've got um, your health, your, you know, where you're, what you're doing for dinner, what wardrobes you need in here, your planning, your personal goals, what your personal goals are going toward. So here's what I do. Not only do I do a top three of the first three things I want to bang out, but I do a top three of things I want to do for me so I've got the top three and it can become your mantra okay so like every day you wake up you know what you're doing um, you know what that's gonna vary from um, month to month and that's gonna be for you to decide but I would say I usually devote up to 10 pages for goals absolutely I do I have I mean I've got a lot here I mean I've got homeschooling goals that are completely scripted in detail all of this I mean I even have this is like nothing so there's definitely enough and then make some more because these these books have like 64 pages the top three I mean to bang it out now add your top three that you want to do that is for your goals so mine are and they can change but for right now and especially this month it's paint write read so that is my top three of what I'm doing for me write every day because I'm and I'm gonna be writing a book so here I'm gonna be I have to put this in my in it's, it's been pretty soon it's just you're on automatic pilot like, did I get in did I read did I paint and did I write so it's those you know what I'm gonna be making no I don't make the travelers notebook the books I make the books I actually am working out of chic sparrow she's one of my favorite um, you know I will definitely do a homeschool one um, definitely and so yeah I missed one of your guys's comments there that went through what type of paper well this is a mole scheme here these are papers I'm working in now but I am going to be creating my own books no these are not May books these are just empty books and these are mole scheme books that you can get at Target and then I paint them so what I'm going to be doing though for my website launch is I'm making my own books printing my art on them they're going to be 
threaded and made and sold. So that's what I'm going to be doing. But for right now, these are just Moleskine books that you can find at Target. So I put in here my um, top three things of what I want to do. Paint, write, read. And I'm just like, yes, that's what I've... Yeah, they do, which is really, really great. So paint, write, read. I put my top three that you want to do. Because if you don't, I mean, honestly, it can get away from you. You know, basically, you're just then you know, taking care of kids or, or doing, thank you. I love Chic Sparrow too. I mean, uh, her work is phenomenal. I, I really won't buy anyone else. I really, I love her work a lot and I will choose to work. I love the leather and my books complement it amazing. So that's how I choose to um, use it. <clears throat> yeah, that I heard someone say that about Costco having them super cheap. That is super, super cool. So um, yeah. Put down your top three things that you want to do that, ha I know, I love her pockets too. It makes it nice and fat and delicious, doesn't it? So put down the top three that you want to do to accomplish towards your personal goals. If you don't have that and you don't know what it is, then you're going to want to make sure that you think of it because this is what's going to create, you're going to inspire yourself. You're going to be like, wow, what do I want to begin? Maybe I need to write, you know? What can I read to nonfiction or self-help to really help cr make you smarter and and learn and wiser? So do three things for you within your day every day. We all have the same amount of minutes. And I, man, I'm determined to make sure it, that I could get eaten up alive by other people. And unless I take care of myself and where I'm going... Um, I'm going to get depressed and it's not going to be because you have to take care of yourself and because you're made with a specific purpose and for a specific calling, you need to make sure that you understand that you are more than your children's mother and you're more than your husband's wife and you're more than a friend and a daughter. You are created for a purpose. So you need to unearth that, find out what your talents are and go for it and do what you love every single day. And it's important that your children see you do it. It's important that your family sees you do it and um, leave a mark in this world. You've got so much to offer. Yes, you, are, you have so much to offer this world, every single one of you. And so you need to find out what those talents are because you were gifted those talents to help aid with your calling and your purpose. And you go for it. And it's going to make you uh, invigorated every single day. So map it out in your planners. Write it out your three that you need to do in the morning, and then do those top three that you want to do to accomplish your goals. So that's my planning tip for today. I had someone request, and I'll do that this week. If anybody is into using their phone, she wanted to know how you ever do digital and written planner. Oh, thank you. I'm going to touch on that, that this week. It's really easy. Um, it's important that you don't just truly rely on a phone for mapping out your life. You do need to put pen to paper. I truly believe it. So we're going to go over that, how you can kind of use both because a phone can be handy, but I'll show you how you can do both. Plus I've got great other uh, tips up my sleeve. So I'll definitely see you a lot more this week. So thanks for stopping in the room and um, thanks for inviting followers and all that wonderful stuff. So have a great rest of your evening and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye girls.